Thank you for choosing WavePad from NCH Software. This video is an introductory overview of WavePad and will provide you with a general familiarity of its basic functions. To download and install WavePad, go to the address shown on your screen. Be sure to watch our other WavePad tutorials for further information on editing and effects, or read the help manual for explanations of more advanced functions. You can access the help manual and more video tutorials from the help menu in the WavePad program. WavePad's layout gives you quick and convenient access to the features you use most often. There are three main areas you can use to find tools and features. They are the menus, the ribbon toolbar, and the command bar. For this video, we'll mostly use the ribbon toolbar, which consists of the home, edit, effects, and tool tabs. Click on a tab to view the features and functions associated with that tab. As a beginner, you might only use the buttons on the home tab and then use the Edit and Effects tabs to access more advanced editing features later. For this video, we'll be working on the Home tab. Along the bottom of the screen, you can see the play controls, the play clock, the volume level meter, and is also where you will see the zoom controls once you open a project. These lower controls remain the same no matter which tab you have selected. To begin a new blank project or to set up for recording, create a new file by clicking the New File icon on the Home tab toolbar. If you want to open an existing file, click the Open File icon and browse to the file you would like to open. As you can see, you can work on multiple files at the same time. You can minimize windows you aren't working on and easily recall them by clicking the file name at the bottom of the project window. You can also use the Window Menu options to arrange your files to cascade or tile them horizontally or vertically for side-by-side -side viewing. Try playing an audio file you have loaded into WavePad. Make sure the file is selected as your active window, then click Play to hear the audio. Click Stop to cease the sound or navigate through the audio file using the Rewind and Fast Forward buttons. To gain even finer control over an editing point, click the scrub icon and use the arrow keys to move forward or backward through the audio with increasing playback speed. You can listen to a portion of your audio by making a selection first. Make a selection by clicking in the wave window and dragging the mouse. When you click play, only the highlighted portion of the file will be played. Now try making a recording from a blank project window. With the blank window selected, click the record button from the controls to bring up the record control window. To begin recording, click the record button and speak into your microphone. Click stop when you are finished. You can play back your recording by clicking play. Or if you want to start over, click the go to start button and the record button. If you have trouble making a recording initially, make sure the correct recording device is selected from the recording section. When you are satisfied with your recording, close the window to return to the main WavePad window. You'll see the waveform of your recording is now in the project window. As with any digital project, you want to save your work periodically to prevent the possibility of losing your recent changes. If you are saving a new file, you can click the Save button in the Home tab toolbar to save the file. Give the file a name and select a file type, then click Save. After this initial save, you can click the Save button in the toolbar again to save under the file name and type you selected previously. If you are working on an existing file, clicking the Save button in the Home tab toolbar will overwrite the original file. This is fine unless you want to preserve the original file or save in another format. In these cases, select the Save As option in the File menu for your initial save. Give the file a name and select a file type, then click Save. After this initial save, you can click the Save button in the Home tab toolbar to save without worrying about overwriting your original file. You've just had a basic tour of WavePad's layout, seen how to open an existing file, open a new file, play an audio file and navigate around that file, and how to make a basic recording. For more information on WavePad's editing or effects features, watch our Intro to Editing 
and intro to effects wavepad tutorials. More great audio software tools, including multi-track mixing software and audio file conversion software, can be found at the NCH software website.